Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file and they want to somehow put the Perry in the P. I've done it uh, one of the ways you could do it. All the black is the metal, all the white is not metal. It'd be air if you, we do the back minus uh, or order back a page. You can see that it's transparent. So all the white is gone, all the black is just a piece of metal and it'll stay. And I just kind of came up with this idea of, and it would work. And I think it would look pretty cool. And here's how I did it. As always, I want to change my nudge factor like to 20 inches. I am going to make a duplicate of that drawing. So I, in case I mess it up, I'll have it. I'm, I'm going to ungroup it here for a second. And I'm going to take the Perry and nudge it out of the way. I'm going to take the P. I'm going to go to Effects and Contour. I'm going to contour to the outside with rounded corners, just a quarter of an inch. I'm going to leave it like that, but I'm going to go ahead and break the contour apart because I'm going to need to in a little bit. Now I'm going to nudge the Perry back over. And I am going to fill in with the Smart Fill tool all the letters and nudge them to the right all the letters that are outside that box and you see what we got. And then the letters that are inside that box, I'm going to nudge to the other direction. Now, you might think, well, that's going to fall out, but it's not because we're going to do something. And then we can actually take the contour away by, there we go. We can actually move these letters out of the way. We're going to move these letters back first, and I am going to left-click, no-fill, right-click in black just so we can see them. And you can see the red on the line, so I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key and delete that line, that line, and that line, and that line. Make sure you, whoop, went too far. Make sure you get all the lines. There we go. So what's going to happen is when, um, that's what it's going to look like. The P is going to fall out, but those other pieces are going to stay. Now on these pieces, we're going to left click, right click in red and move them over. So what the contour do it, it did, it kept my letters separated. So this is what it's going to look like in metal. Now, if we take away the red hairline, which you don't want to do because you want to be able to cut it, you can kind of see what's going to happen. I mean, it's going to fall out, but that part of the E and that part of the R are going to stay in. You know, so all the white's going to fall. So that's going to represent the P. This is the E plus the other part, R plus the other part. I think that's going to work. And I think it would be quite cool. I am going to show him another way. I'll make a second video on this uh, that I would probably prefer doing it uh, to kind of make it pop. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.